Whoa, yeah, swear to God I'm with it I don't see nobody in my lane It's quite go get it like me Whoa, please don't be wasting my time with that business Who are you kidding, man? Yeah, 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 yeah What's up? What's going on? <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Just call me Casper the Ghost, please. <laughs> oh my god. What is going on, guys? What is up? It's one day out, man. One day out. I thought I'd, um, I thought I'd start this vlog as, as... Well, as transparent as possible. I've literally just woken up. I just got woken up by that light. If you didn't, and it's my Fitbit's turned off, <laughs> which sucks. So that means that when I look at my, my sleep analysis from last night, I'm not going to get it, which sucks. But it's 11 past 6 in the morning, guys, on Friday, the 20th of November. 11 past 6. So we're in Queenstown, as you guys know. Um... I slept like an absolute baby, which is fucking fantastic. I may have no clothes on and I, I, I might look like shit right now, but I'm going outside. And it is as still as can be. I just hope no one sees me. <laughs> One day out, man. One fucking day out. We're here. We're here. I'm on the street with no clothes on. I don't give a shit. I am completely and utterly inspired right now. We're in Queenstown. What a place. What a time to be alive. One day out. <sighs> am I going to run under four hours? That's the question. Anyways, guys, I'm going to have a shower, have a coffee, and I'll talk to you guys shortly. Today's mission as I mentioned previously, is to suss out the course. And I've got a full day to do it. A full day. So many, so much time for activities. It's gonna be great. Right, you lot. What is going on? Welcome back. We're still at home. I haven't, haven't uh, ventured out yet, but we're about to. I've got my second coffee on the go. I've put up you, two YouTube videos. And um, if you were wondering which one went up today, it was Marlon Humphrey. <clears throat> player number 86 on the list of the top 100 series. So guys, if you're enjoying those videos, please hit the like button. If you're enjoying these videos, please hit the like button. And if you haven't subscribed, please do. Now, I just wanted to um, let you guys know what the plan was for today. So I'm about to put on my new running shoes. I haven't actually showed you guys these, but uh, you know, as soon as I saw them, I fell in love and they have been, well, they've pretty much ran me two 20 kilometer PBs. Um, in the last week, so I can't complain with the shoes. I definitely needed a new pair. The pair that I had, I'd been using for six months. The laces broke. You know, it's basically it's a, a Nike sort of free run or a Nike. I think it's called a Nike free run. The bottom, like the sole, is all spongy. Um, terrible for, for for gym workouts. Terrible for squats and things like that. But but also getting pretty terrible for running. So uh, you know, as far as the shape goes. They look pretty damn good. I felt the sole, it is nice and solid. The laces, the way that it does up around my ankle feels absolutely fantastic. And so these are officially my very first marathon running shoes. They're called New Balance, New Balance Fuel Cell, Fuel Cell. I'm extremely impressed. They cost me 140 bucks. You know, it's not gonna break the bank. Guys, the goal is in those shoes is to run a four hour marathon, but what I want to say is that I don't actually know what the terrain of this course is like yet. I don't know if there's, you know, too many hills. If there are, there's no way I'm going to run a four hour marathon. There's just absolutely no way. Um, you know, if there's a decent amount of hills, I am going to go for four hours 30. That's going to be a, a decent goal. It's going to give me that extra 30 minutes to walk if I have to. I don't want to walk. I'd like to slow down my pace enough so that I can continue to jog. Okay, uh, I've got to stop talking now and I've got to put the battery on charge because it's run out. That's the trouble with this camera. Uh, the battery life isn't that good. I will say guys, there's one, one major 
benefit of using a point and shoot over a DSLR and that is the fact that the film clip size, the video clip size does not get cut off every 10 minutes and it also doesn't shut off every 30 minutes so you can have a continuous shot for as long as you like as long as the battery you know doesn't run out so that's that's a nice little so that's a nice little thing that I've found using a point and shoot the quality is not going to be there you know you're obviously not going to be able to change the lenses as far as the G7X Mark III the, the zoom is actually fairly decent uh, but my battery pack is about to die so what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly charge these because that's one thing I cannot let happen is wake up tomorrow morning and uh, either not have my headphones charged or not have my Fitbit charged. These are two, well it's 100% now so that's fine, but these are two crucial pieces of equipment. Crucial, crucial. And there goes the battery again. Okay, so last thing I was going to say before heading out to the start line is that there's two more crucial pieces of equipment for me personally. Contact lenses, so I can take these fuckers off, and uh, sunscreen, and a sun hat. So that's three. So we've got we've got Fitbit, we've got my headphones, we've got a hat, we've got sunscreen, we've got contact lenses. We'll make that six. We've got sunglasses. Actually, we'll make that seven. And I need my phone. So as long as I've got my shoes, my socks, uh, <laughs> my shorts, and my t-shirt, and my number, and my bag, you know what? We're gonna call it twenty things. I'd, I'd better write a list. Anyways, guys. Next time you see me, we're going to be at the start line pretty much exactly 24 hours before the start of my very first marathon. It's one day out. We're in Queenstown, like I keep saying. Oh, it's fucking exciting, man. Nervous, but excited. I've got plenty of support, and um, it's all appreciated, so thank you. All right, guys, I'm finally out of the house. It took me a lot longer than I thought. It is now nearly midday. But there is one question in my mind. How many hills and valleys is this 42 kilometer distance going to have in it? I'm hoping for zero. If it's one to five, it's doable. If it's five to 10, it's not likely. If it's 10 to 20, it's a five hour marathon. Okay, we're on here. Uh, we're officially 300 meters away from the start line. This is the first time I'm ever going to lay eyes on this. Oh. Okay, so the start line is at a place called Millbrook Resort. I'm just going to pull over. So, from what I can work out, I feel like this is the start. Pretty much right around here so if I continue driving I assume we begin the race running down here and it's pretty nice I'm not gonna lie it's uh, well it's Queenstown that's exactly what it is so yeah I mean if the start is anything if the start is around here We've got a golf course. Okay. Not bad. Not bad. The Avenue Orchard Hill. Holy shit, this place is... This place is rather nice. I, I'd like nothing more than to start here. Okay. We've got some officials. We've got some officials. I have no idea what they're going to say. Hello. Hello. Hey, do you know where the start line is? Oh. Uh, is it going to be back there? Yeah, Mil yeah. it's the Sotheby sign. I mean, the, the green sign, I think. And we'll take off down this way? Yeah. yeah. She, uh, she said she had no idea, actually, so I'm not sure if that's correct or not, but we're certainly in the right place. Okay, I've found the start line. My next mission, I'm going to pull over here, my next mission is to one, get the hell out of here because it's almost like a maze, and number two is to track the course. So I feel like, yeah, the first, what, what? I feel like the first K or two is probably going to be through here. Um, no idea which direction, but then once we exit here, 
Uh, I'm gonna have to go back through these people. That's gonna be embarrassing, but that's okay. Little do they know that they're gonna be on YouTube within a couple of weeks. In fact, they might actually see themselves because they will be titling this uh, something to do with the Queenstown Marathon. Or I'll, I'll at least be tagging the Queenstown Marathon in every single one of these videos. So, so by all means, if any volunteers or anyone in the race, anyone that's involved with this event sees these videos, sees this video, please let me do, know down in the comment section below. It's gonna be awesome. Anyways guys, this is what we see as we roll out. Um, I didn't see, uh, you know, I didn't show you anything of what's in there. The whole place is amazing actually. And it's called the Millbrook Resort. This must be on, you know, lists of top places in New Zealand or most fancy places. What does it say? Millbrook, escape the everyday. Escape the everyday. All right, let me get this map. Okay. <laughs> Actually, we can work this out together. Look at look on my phone. Hopefully you can see that. Um, that blue section is, what is it? All right, so if you can see that blue section, that is pretty much what we just drove through. Um, if I can zoom in, I don't know if I can, but basically they're saying that uh, there's different sections within that. So the darker blue is for the faster runners, sub three hours, then you've got three hours to 3.30, then you've got 3.30 to four hours, and then you've got four hours and above. And I assume you just stand in the section allocated to what you think you're gonna run. So I suppose I'm gonna be at the back. If anyone runs a sub three hour marathon, that is absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> Fuck me up. You know what? It's <laughs> it's gonna be it's gonna be crack up seeing how fast they run off because you know <laughs> I don't even know how fast that is. It's definitely sub four minutes, four minute K's to get a three hour marathon, which is um pr pretty much as fast as I can run for one kilometer, let alone forty two. So best of luck to everybody. I've sussed out the start. Where do we go from there? Okay, so that little square there is that blue area. We run out that way, around there. That's actually where we've just driven. Out to the road, turn right, and we're off. So that's exactly what I've just done in the car. I've turned right, and I'm down here. So effectively, I feel like we're gonna come out, and we're gonna be running right down here. But then we hang a left. Then we hang a left, so I'm going to look at the full marathon course and see exactly what happens here. Oh my god, 42 kilometers guys, we're running across half the fucking country. This is so small, I can hardly see it, but... Okay, here we go, so we're starting there, we, we are going... Jesus, I don't know where we're going, it might be down that road. It may be down that road there. Uh... Arrowtown, yes, you're probably right. Okay, so we're gonna go down that road and check it out. So we go around Arrowtown. Hogan's Gully Road. Hogan's Gully Road, Arrowtown Lake Hayes Road. All right, I'm not gonna worry about, <laughs> to be honest, mate, you know what? I want it to be a surprise. So I'm not gonna worry about the first, I'm not gonna worry about the first 10.5 kilometers. I'm pretty confident that I can run 10.5 Ks regardless of whether it is, you know, hilly or not. But then we come to this point, and this is where we hang a left and we do a eight kilometer stretch right around uh, Lake Hayes, which I've just driven past that and it looks absolutely beautiful. So what the plan is guys, I'm gonna drive up here, I'm gonna park my car at the edge of the lake, and then I'm gonna go for a walk on that probably seven kilometer stretch right around the lake, you know, clear my head today, um, have a think about the race, and then we'll continue this. I'm pretty sure that the orange is sealed road, yes it is. The blue is hard packed trail, or a dirt road. And that's it. So 42 kilometers guys, 42 k's, let's go. We've had success, I've found the path. I have passed, I have officially passed the 41 kilometers to go marker. I feel like there will be a marker every kilometer, which should be useful. But uh, what, I, what I'm not liking is, look at this. Already, okay, already we've got a nice incline. Or maybe, maybe we go down there, which I would much prefer. I'm hoping we do, I think we do. All right, so we go down there, 
and that's going to be the first trail part of our or do we go down there fuck I'm not even sure let's continue just gonna keep driving down this road for a wee bit to see if I can spot another one of these markers but I don't think I am okay that's good that's good work so far so what we're gonna do we're gonna skip the part that goes around Arrowtown we're gonna begin this I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna see you guys again when we get to the corner of Hogan's Gully Road and Arrowtown Lake Hayes Road that point is at the 10.5 K mark and it's gonna be the point that I get out of the car this morning and go for a walk cool I'll see you there we are here so yeah this is the exciting part <laughs> all right guys so as far as I'm aware as far as I'm aware we come 10.5 kilometers into this race we come from down there all the way down here hit this corner turn left and effectively that road I'm led to believe runs all the way around the uh, base of Lake Hayes and I did actually drive past that on the way here and it looks beautiful so what I'm gonna do is I might even I'm gonna turn my car around I'm gonna park it right down there I'm gonna leave the camera in it and I'm gonna go for about a two-hour walk I haven't done a lot of activity for the past three days I really need to I, I do need to uh, get the legs moving I need to get some blood in there and um, loosen up before the big day tomorrow because I, I wouldn't want to I wouldn't want to do nothing for four days you know what I mean I think I've done it okay I think I've you know as far as this last week as far as these last seven days I feel like I've done it pretty much as effectively as I can <laughs> I'm feeling good I'm feeling ready to go you know I could run it right now uh, could I I don't know I've got my running shoes on I feel pretty fucking good I could probably just set off that way and run 42 kilometers but I'm gonna wait till tomorrow but what I can say is that regardless of the race you know what a place to be in right now what a place just stunning and not overcrowded which is perfect anyways all right so I'm gonna go around the lake I'm not gonna take the camera because that's annoying and uh, look I'll see you guys in about two hours the time is 11 41 a.m. I've done 1,000 steps which is pitiful but by the end of this walk I think it should be about 10 k's a um, couple of hours 10,000 steps and a nice wee look at an eight kilometer portion of the race okay guys I tell a lie um, I'm driving to the lakeside and um, what I do want to say is that this is exactly where we'll be running Oh no way! Look at that! <laughs> Just like that. Just like that. I am in my own piece of paradise. That, my friends, is the other side of Lake Hayes and right now I'm going to test the zoom on this thing we haven't done that whoa oh shit not bad not bad I'm not gonna say that's the the best quality but that is the other side of Lake Hayes so what I'm gonna do right now is uh, do what I said I was gonna do before and go for a walk so I'm just gonna leave my car here man look at this boom could be day number one of, of van life I'll just come back here nope I found an actual car park okay now it's time to go for a walk all right and just like that we have returned that was actually uh, that was quite good I've done exactly 10,006 steps. It's 1.20 p.m. and I'm starving. So I've got a plan. 
Well, actually, I, sorry, I've got a plan, but I also learned three things. I learned three, three different things on that walk. Number one, just around that corner is the 24 kilometers to go marker. So now I've seen two markers. I've seen the 11, I've seen the uh, 31 kilometer to go. Sorry, I've seen three markers. The 41 kilometers to go marker after one kilometer. Then we saw the 31 kilometer to go marker just before heading down to uh, circle the lake. And we saw a third marker just over there, which is gonna be, as you come around the lake, you come past there and you've got 24 k's to go, which makes sense because around the lake is around about eight k's. First thing I learned, is that as soon as I come around this lake that I've just gone and walked, I will pass the 24 kilometers to go marker, which will mean I've ran 18 Ks. Now, if I've got a goal in mind, because the second thing I learned was that <laughs> the path is certainly not gonna be flat. It is not gonna be flat by, by any stretch. Um, there's gonna be constant ups and downs, or at least during this part. The second thing I learned was that by the time I pass the 18 K mark, you know, I want to do that under two hours. So that's my first goal. If I pass that under two hours, I know I've, you know, I've, I've done a decent job because in training, all I've done, admittedly, is uh, flat running. So I have no idea how, how this is gonna go, guys. If I had a level of confidence before, it's certainly been dropped a slight bit. But the third thing I learned was, there is a sign saying that this place gets locked every night at 10 p.m. And if any vans are caught here overnight, which I was considering doing, uh, you're fined $200. And in my opinion, I'd rather pay 200 bucks for a hotel than pay 200 bucks to sleep in my own van. So with that being said, I'm not going to do that. But what I am going to do is go and get some lunch. So I actually want to leave a fair bit of this, you know, course to my surprise. I want to see it for the first time. And, you know, I wouldn't be able to drive it anyway because a lot of it is on trail. A lot of it is on, you know, dirt and uh, dirt and com compacted trail, they call it. So, I fuck, I have no idea how this is going to go, guys. I mean, I didn't know, re I didn't, I mean, I really didn't know what to expect as far as terrain, as far as altitude and the rest, but I don't know. <laughs> I honestly don't know. I'm feeling confident. You know, luckily, holy shit, man, luckily I've got a, a base level of fitness. And, um, you know, if I didn't have that, I mean, you can walk it. There are people who walk. 6Ks per hour is a definite pretty fast paced walk and to keep it up you know up and down that's six k's per hour that's 40 that's seven hours so okay you've got to yeah you've got to walk at about five k's per hour constantly for eight hours straight that is not going to be easy but i guess that's race walking right so i'm not going to do that i'm going to run the whole fucking thing except for the uphill parts i'm going to walk because i do not want to screw myself i'm going to walk those parts and then i'm going to run rapidly down the other side to, to make up some time. That is my goal and that is my strategy. Apart from that, I have no idea. Right, so I'm gonna go get some lunch. I'm gonna go to Ferg Burger. Fuck, it's hot in here, holy shit. Jesus Christ, I will say it's humid, man. It is humid today and I definitely didn't need this. So the plan now, guys, I'm gonna go and get some lunch. I'm not gonna show you guys any more of this course. I'm just gonna suss out a bit of it myself on the way into Queenstown. I'm gonna get some lunch from the world famous Ferg burger, which I've never tried before. I'm gonna get two burgers, some fries, and a drink, and then I will see you guys on the couch back at my unit.